This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. What's up, fuckos? See, I told you. <laughs> hey, we gotta swear. That's our whole deal. <laughs> yeah. That's our whole you, thing. If you get that We warning, did a swear! We've got a Greetings, fucksticks. <laughs> we're, we're earning that 18 plus that I enforce on our channel. <laughs> hey, cunts. Oh, shit. Sorry, I went too far. Whoa, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool, All guys. Right. He's from a different hemisphere. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like he's that's, that's he's from... That's child yeah, speak you're, you're, over here. Exactly, you're, you're you're Oceania, so like that's just a thing you guys say. We, we can't. We, but. we, we do. We, we, <laughs> yeah. Even to your friends, you call your friends that all the time. It's a different world. I'm just okay, opening we're up. All, we're already set to adults only, so it doesn't matter. I'm yeah. opening up a bubbly. Ooh. A bubbly. Do it real close, close to the mic. B L Y drinks. Mm -hmm. Or like, are you celebrating yeah, something, yeah. Matt? Yeah. Sorry. Are you celebrating something? Uh, well, <laughs> as a matter of fact, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Actually, I should celebrate. We got nine fucking comments on the last Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. For, for whatever reason, y'all were really excited to talk about the music of your childhoods mm. and also Snow how days. cold it was where you yeah. lived. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. That's okay. that's that's what we want. I guess those are elements of common human experience. To be scientific about it, uh, we should spend this episode <laughs> talking about really alienating subjects that no one could possibly relate to. <laughs> the stuff that o definitely only happened in each of our own lives that no one else has a you know a related anecdote to. And we'll see if we also get nine comments. And that's that talk in can... uncertain terms about projects we're working on that are under NDA, so be really cagey about it. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Podcasts. That's what a podcast are for, guys. <laughs> Let's get to this game, hey? Who are All we right, talking Zebra to? fucking. Missouri friend! Oh my god, that baby's got a gigantic fucking head! Oh man. <laughs> she must be walking bow-legged. The savannah be the Zimbani home. The grasslands feed the cattle. The savannah be the home to many dangers. The dangers may be feed on you if you not be wary. Why is she talking to us like we just arrived here? <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> there may be things that wanted to eat you. The best advice I can give you is fight when you have to. Run when you can. There be no glory in being dead. Actually, you, you cannot grind your stats up running up from every fight. No, that's yeah. that's why I have two hundred plus in all of my stats, and you don't, Uhura. That's some oh. piss poor advice, Uhura. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always be using your brains out in the savanna. Rest when you be tired, and do not sleep without a fire. And watch out for traps. Traps. Is that During a her thing? dialogue, I feel that there should be like a Rihanna backing track or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey now, M a Missouri Simba threw his first spear today. It not be much, but he will be a fine warrior. That's li that little fucker threw he, a spear. His move will be like headbutting people. I, uh, I'm guessing that it's not a full size spear, but if it was, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> I I like the idea of the savanna. One of like the natural threats of the savanna is traps. It's traps. As if there's some sort of like savanna beaver that's really industrious, <laughs> but instead of damming waterways, it constructs elaborate traps to catch watch, people. Watch out for those savanna <laughs> traps, everyone. Simbabwe expedition to the South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Simba, some, some sort of burrowing mammal that makes ankle snares <laughs> just yeah. out of the savannah nobody gives a shit about Simba <laughs> it's, that's fair really <laughs> Simba never has a valuable contribution to make so <laughs> in five games Oh, the really? warriors wow, are the Simbani, be the warriors, weapons are the tribe, sorry. Warriors must be very brave, very strong, and very smart, or they'd be very dead. She's quite obsessed with, the, you know, warning us not to be dead. 
Yeah. She's in really all fairness, fun. like in a in a hostile place, that's probably good advice, you know. Yeah, but we're things awesome. that will not get you killed. Yeah, I mean, but our whole job, really, and, and like our our thing is murdering things, right? So yeah. The end is that a Simbani be the brains of the tribe. They be older, so their brains grow smarter. Elders are the husbands and the headers. You know, I. I take umbrage with that. Like, age does not equate to intelligence. No, uh, no it does not. No, possibly <laughs> wisdom, and not in every case. Yeah, no. I'm talking to no, you, yeah, you are, no. There, there are many uh, chambers of the world where people are waiting as patiently as they can for various chairs to empty through old age. <laughs> we are, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we are. Uh, yeah. The Laibon is the leader of the tribe. The Laibon must be strong, smart, and respected by all. He listens to the words of the elders and then tells the tribe what to do. Where the fuck are the elders in this place? Aren't they the herders? Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're they're actually the fence around the building. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, that's city. <laughs> the I thought you were saying that the, the pelts that this room is made of, those are the elders. <laughs> it's like, what a village... I, I was... I wasn't sure if I was going to say the fence or the ground upon which the city is built, but... Like, fuck's sake, man. Like, this is not a populated place. I've no, seen maybe not. three people. Four, There are maybe. three huts. One is empty for me to use. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's one uh, holds a the cage. Game, and one, one holds game. Uhura. And the yeah. guy who plays the game is up there. There's a storyteller wandering around somewhere. There's the old <laughs> yep. guy up on the fucking ridge when you first get there. Then there's uh, stones and homes. And then, well, that's Sto that's Games Guy, yeah, Stones oh, right. and Homes yeah, Guy, yeah, yeah that's yes it. Yasufu, who is the son of the Leban, so presumably also lives in that oh. middle uh, hut. So oh, the town has a some... stunning huts to idiots ratio. <laughs> <laughs> there's stunning. a uh, there's a uh, the place is teeming with people just behind the cameraman. <laughs> Simba says, "Simba me, me Simbi." What the fuck? He does not. He should have a really gruff voice. Simba says, Mama! Um, Mama! No. Mama! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sim Simba's father was apparently a demon. That's, uh, Matt wanted to know, and now we know. <laughs> He's going to make a fortune doing backup vocals for Pantera. Oh, I'm out of here. Fuck this kid. Yep, this is... I'm out. Uh, <clears throat> You'd think fun. taking a... a, a, a uh, lighter-skinned half-breed from... Uh, from Shapir... Mm. back to the tribe would, would have... be dangerous for a kid like that. Not when he talks like that. Mm -mm. I uh, I used to work at a summer camp, and uh, one of my jobs looking after kids at the summer camp was obviously to count the children and uh, make sure that the children were all accounted for and not to lose any of them throughout the week. Uh, and uh, every night when they were all going to bed, I would do a head count to make sure that there was the right number of children there. And I had this weirdly specific fear, not that there would be too few children, but that there would be an extra one. I was so convinced every time that there would be an extra changeling child in the cabin that snuck in, that I would have to sort of sort out from its peers as the false demon uh, child. You've been watching The Parent Trap. <laughs> the Parent Trap. Alex. But but more sinister than that, like a child that no one could account for, that would gradually manifest strange and dangerous powers. That is how Matt arrived in the world. That's how, that's my that's my origin story. <laughs> that would ex that would explain the cold iron brand in all of the uh, all the day camps, though. Oh yeah. Oh hey, uh, is it a, is it a question for glory time? Let's do it. Let's have a question for Glory. Okay, yes. okay, so, like, there's fewer questions for Glory and more just, uh... People probably want their comments read. Teenage music And you know glory. what? I'm willing to oblige, you know? That's perfectly fine, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, Idris. Yeah. 
Idris! 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 Idris is a goddamn Aussie. Nice. A goddamn Aussie. Another southern hemisphere. Uh, uh, a southern hemisphere. Not a person from the yeah. southern hemisphere. I was going to say another hemisphere fuck, but no. I, that's, <laughs> that's a, that's a, that was a little... That also implied that A, that Lou is a fuck. <laughs> Look, we established this fun. long ago. <laughs> Isn't he? Well, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I, we we like to give Lou a lot of shit on this show because I he is the new it. guy. Yeah, but uh, you know, honestly, uh, you're, you're good people, and everybody's good people. And I like how over the course of like more than probably ten NPCs that have been on the show. Hey, Lewis is the only one we haze regularly. Oh, that's fine. I I I, I welcome it. <laughs> Lewis is the only one to go through a whole show and not record his audio, though. <laughs> oh yeah, you got <laughs> let, let, Let's not forget, uh, good old John. <laughs> oh John, yeah, who, well John who did lose his audio a few times. <clears throat> That's true. That's the true. The good rising. old John, back in the old days. Uh, so yeah, uh, Idris says, uh, as an Aussie, I never had a snow day, but living in Canberra, we did have four days in the past thirty years with shitty Canberra snow that melts before it touches the ground. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Don't they have like dingo days or something? <laughs> dingo, dingo days. days. <laughs> The, the city's crack. overrun with dingoes, so everyone stay in your homes, please. <laughs> Dingo days. Uh, and 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 his question for Glory is, could you read my comment? Done. Done. Tick it off the list. That's yeah, not that's, a question, but nevertheless. It's a task that, for Glory. Well, could a, you read my comment is a question. Yeah, well, The yeah. answer is yes. Um, and... Uh, also, 96 to 98 was their uh, 12 to 14. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he listens to mostly 70 and 80s rock, but as nice. an adult, they can Good go man. to uh, a year or two without listening to music at all. What the fuck is this guy? It, it, we already fought one of these. It's a dinosaur, they say. Oh, I hate he's, him. He's here endangering your species. He's so loud. He's got such a weird strut the way he walks. Yeah. Ah, the, the, music is a little, the music's a little different. It's gone from sort of... Um, Ha-cha-cha! The dinosaur. Activities on a kid show to um, welcome our new contestant on Family Feud. Yeah. It's a very gay <laughs> show. Really I'm, I'm glad you noticed. So after, um, I believe it was Asami Arrow uh, pointed out that our, our audio was fucked. Um, I, I went through and, and there was a note down below saying, uh, so we use the um, uh, the Fat Man um, sound font. Yeah, George uh, Sanger. Using Gen, Gen Midi. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it does a good job. But there was something wrong, I think, with the uh, instrument selection, and it just our music wasn't sounding right. So I upgraded to a more recent um, version, and it sounds quite a bit better. So, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, Although I missed the bottle blow. That dinosaur <laughs> walked. Technically, with- I think this is what bottle blow is supposed to sound like. That that dinosaur walked with plantar grade legs, like a person. The noid. Yeah. And yeah. there are plantigrade lizards. Uh, lots of lizards actually walk in a more or less plantigrade way. But no bipedal dinosaurs did <laughs> that I'm aware of. Um, yeah, he was stupid. Um, like, I, I'm willing to give a game props when, you know, they do something right. But that dinosaur was stupid. And he was <laughs> he was stupidly conceived, and he was stupidly executed. <laughs> and I hate him. Stupidly faced. He was. What? He had a stupid face. He had a stupid body. Yeah. He had a pot belly, and his legs, like you said, were they didn't work like dinosaur legs. No, he just had person God, arms and legs. Like, yeah. He just, just had like muscly human arms and legs with lizardy yeah. appendages. Like. Fighting this this fucker this this bat snake. I'm into this. 
Now, working on modern video games, I could see the argument to be made for like going, you know what? Let's just let's just put everything on one skeleton. We're gonna mocap a dude just like pretending to be a dinosaur and call it a day, right? Like if you don't have a dedicated tech artist like like Alex, for example, like that might be the kind of compromise that you know a, uh, a lazy producer like I frequently am. Uh, All right, team, we're going to gonna phone in the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, like, I, I now fully understand why. But, like, if you go back and play, like, the Mass Effect series, like, most of the aliens look like they could be guys in suits, which when I played it originally, before I kind of started to understand how how this shit works, I was like, that's a great idea, you know, it, it, one, it, it makes cosplay and stuff like that easier, mm -hmm. but also, like, it, it makes it feel more like a sci-fi TV show, right? Like, because mm -hmm. it's gonna be actors in suits, normally speaking. Now I understand that most likely they just didn't want to, like, build a new skeleton and rig a different type of, a bunch of different, like, configurations of aliens. Working with me is actually the reason Luke has been obliged to learn the terms plantigrade, digitigrade, and unguligrade. Yes, we yeah. actually we were we had a conversation in uh, in the office. Well, you know the virtual version of the office since COVID um, today, where um, I, I came upon the the uh, the realization that um, you know Alex in his in his business. Um, maybe one of the few people who has a really good reason to be intimately familiar with the knees of various animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I've got to be able to... Is he a, yeah. knight, is, is he a knight of knee? I, I've, I've got to be able to look at an animal and instantly know where it keeps its knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh, okay. JC Saran says, mm -hmm. uh, My 12 to 14 was a dark time. Boy bands roamed the earth and punk was mainstreamed. Snow days were rare, but they happened when I was a kid. Most times it meant the snow plows were either stuck or the school principal couldn't make it to work that day. Tiny town problems. It's true. It's true. Anybody who's lived in a tiny town knows that. Mm hmm. When, you're, uh, when your parents call your principal by their first name because they know each other. Because <laughs> they also sold, sold them their wallpaper. <laughs> uh, yeah, so boy band. So that must have been late 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that must have been like uh, 98 to 2000. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's... that. I still... Like, that's way better than mine. Mine was, you know... 1990 to 92 was the, was the darkest time for music in history. <laughs> Again, darker than proto hominids rhythmically cudgeling one another to death. Darker than any time in any place. <laughs> darker than 1930s Germany. When you when you could flip on the radio and hear Don Henley singing by himself. Nobody wants that. Nobody wanted that. <laughs> Yet that's what we had. That, the, that, those were the years that made Amy Grant famous. Okay, the, the sounds that they, the earliest thinking animals it's a made trap. when they looked up at the stars with horrified awareness for the first time, were less dark than the music when Matt was <laughs> was twelve to fourteen years old. Totally yeah. true. Fuck, we found our first savannah trap. Yeah. Made by one of That's those true. industrious Savannah trap beavers. <laughs> Savannah trapper. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are animals that make traps, I guess, like spiders and antlions and stuff. Uh, we have a question for Banana. Where does the Pork Futures name for the podcast to be come from? Where did Pork Creatures happen? How did that happen? Ah, uh, shit! I can't remember. We're, we're talking about investing or something like were that. We, were just, we? <laughs> I just threw Pork Futures out as, as you know, um, a, a safe investment. You know, uh, In Pork and Futures just stuck harnessing just, your best uh, Jim Cramer. <laughs> we, we weren't talking about trading places or anything, were we? I don't sure. think so. Could have been. We may have been actually. Yeah. 
Yeah. Pork Futures sounds like the sort of nonsense that spills out of Matt when he opens his mouth. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> are we going to talk to this fucking monkey? We are sure are going to talk to the talking <laughs> oh, monkey. Tell me about God. the jungle. The jungle man home. Jungle monkey home. Treats good place. Grab bad place. It's Many bad things Bobcat eat Goldplay. monkeys. Many bad things catch monkeys. Trees best place for monkeys. Jungle best home for monkeys. I feel Man, like monkeys if I had... are boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> monkeys have nothing interesting to talk about. You yeah. are not worth my time. Monkey Manu. Manu big monkey. Manu smart monkey. Manu like man friend. <laughs> Exit I love this stage monkey letter. voice. You're, you sound like that alien from uh, American Dad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you do a little. Roger the alien. A little bit. Unintentionally. Nice. That just happened. Nicely done. I don't, I don't think, honestly, honestly, I don't think I've seen more than a few episodes of that show ever. Oh, to be honest. Were you in Russian at the time? I don't even know where that came from, to be honest. So, hey, can we not pass that waterfall? Oh, what the fuck? No, we can't pass the waterfall right now. Okay. When I refer uh, to the stuff that spills out of Matt, I say that with all the love in the world. Matt has a course. capacity for for oh gibberish that I just I I can't even aspire to. And I keep that fairly reined in on this show. Absolutely, it it's true. <laughs> we have been we've been in Dungeons and Dragons uh, sessions together where Matt has has said a string of words so incomprehensible. That we were unsure whether he had had a stroke or not. I'm also, a... like, Matt will be running a game, and one of the NPCs will become so unstable that we are all genuinely are afraid to interact with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There it was, was a game where we were talking to a mob yeah. boss, and I'm not sure if it was planned, but he just straight up melted and died somewhere in the middle of our interactions with him. <laughs> yeah, he was too <laughs> stupid to live. He just became, like, he, he got mumblier and more quiet and slurred as it went, and then eventually he just stopped answering us, and we all had to <laughs> run because everyone thought we killed him. And Yeah. Anyway, if wow. you guys think it must be weird for us to host a show with Matt, it's nothing compared to what it's like being friends with Matt. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> this is, it's a whole, it's a whole ordeal. I know what I am. Hey, why don't you, why don't you talk to Andrew? He had to grow up with me. Oh, yeah. Imagine being not so much a friend, but uh, a prisoner. <laughs> An observer. <laughs> Just locked in here with me. In a home. God. Uh, we're out of fucking time, okay? We sure are. Uh, we'll, we'll read the rest of your uh, goddamn comments next episode. Hey, we got and by the way, that, that Pork Futures question came from... Uh, I am so sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slaughter your name here. Michael G Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get that right? Did I get that right? Sorry. Is it Giorgio Erdi? Yeah. I don't know. Help me out a there, buddy. Viewer. A, regular a, viewer. Oh, a, re right? a regular viewer for sure. I just mm -hmm. don't know how to pronounce your name. I don't, yeah, I don't think we've, we've ever said his Giorgio Erdi. Is their name on the show? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, give, give, give us a hand, you know? What are you going to do? This is what I love about this show, okay? Like, we are not huge. We don't even have... We just have I a mean, little... We're, we're huge, but we're not popular. We are not popular. Yeah, between <laughs> us, there's like 12 or 13 guys. But between yeah. us, an elevator <laughs> would protest. Worth a meat. Yeah, but, we're, uh, we're, we're, yeah. we're big fellas, but we yeah, are yeah. not... Yeah. If you if you blended us up, you could make a lot of you know a lot of viable people from the bits. Yeah. I mean, even even Andrew and Alex, who are not like big guys like that, they're still tall fuckers. Yeah, Rangy. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm both. Jesus Christ. God, what are we going to do? I'm both Jesus Christ and God. What are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, everybody. All right, fuck it. Let's go. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Hey, yeah, see ya. Thanks for your questions and comments and whatnot.